All right, here we go. Big Daddy Shin, day 11.50, park. So today was one of those days where I had no idea if I was going to be able to go outside, wake up in the morning. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm up at 7, but I'm like, ah, you know what? I'm just going to sleep. I stayed up late last night working on the after school stuff and like my, um, you know, organizing my, my grades and students and stuff. Figure, you know what? I'll just go after lunch. I feel pretty good. Then all of a sudden, at 9 o'clock, you just hear the sky opening up. <coughs> and it started pouring. It was really crazy. And then, you know, I'm teaching class. I'm going, gosh, I don't know if I'm going to go outside. Jose calls me up says, oh, I don't think you're going to not be able to go outside today. I'm like, whatever, dude. I'll go out in the rain. But I don't want to go out in the rain. And, and uh... So, I looked online, and it said that, yeah, it was a 91% chance of rain earlier, which it did. And then, it's going to be a, a, what do you call it? Yeah, 12% chance later, around this time right now. And so, I'm looking outside, I'm like, oh, okay, it's not too bad. And then so I see from over there, that's stuff, like that sunlight over there, that passed. But these dark clouds are coming over this way. And uh, it's probably going to rain pretty soon. So that's why I figure, you know what? I'm just going to go out, walk, enjoy myself, and feel pretty good. So, you know, the... The computer system, one of the computer systems are down that, you know, I could look at the transcripts. So I'm at a standstill with some of my students that um, are wondering what classes they could recover next. I go, dude, don't you even know what classes you failed? No, I don't. I go, oh. So one kid's easy. I mean, he failed everything. So it's like, okay, we're just taking a pick. All right, let's do English. That, but that kid's doing amazing. You know, we're about, we're almost done with his English classes. So next thing we're going to do is like his world history and social studies, U.S. history. And uh, so, yeah, anyways, back to the whole diet thing, too. So eating those keto sticks, I mean, it's basically like beef jerky. Should I eat a lot of them? No, I don't. But is it better than eating the chocolate bar? Totally, right? So I cut those things in half and then I'm snacking throughout the day. I boiled a ton of eggs, eating those, and I realized how much I enjoy eggs. Now the thing is, it's not like I'm boiling 10 eggs and eating all 10 in one sitting. No, it's like, it just feels good just cracking open one. And, you know, I'm learning how to boil an egg and when not to boil eggs. So you're not supposed to boil them fresh. But if you do, then they stick to the shell. It's kind of weird. I'll explain it later in tonight. But, um, what is it? Yeah, but then the water, not that many carbs. Feels pretty good. And then I'm eating the paste piccani sauce. And, uh, uh, I actually feel really good. I'm not going to say I'm going I'm to live off this thing forever. But just right now, just to see, you know, if I could live for two weeks like this. And then, uh, you know, my exercise, doing, the, doing more of the cardio. And uh, we'll see what happens. The whole point is trying to get into that jacket. So if I can get in that jacket, I feel pretty good. Oh, shoot. Hold on a second. Okay, yeah, that was like forms. I had to fill out some forms for school. So, yeah, I mean, I cleaned up my place a little. I got to do laundry. So, like, all these, like, things just settling in, not too stressed about stuff. All I had to think about is 
school and my nutrition. Actually, today I have to do something. I have to, uh, I have to do a lot of riding for this WASC accreditation for our school because we have a meeting tomorrow. So, oh, okay, I'll do it. So that's my life right now. And uh, I just got to get this walk done before uh, the rain comes again, like the Eurythmics. You know, this park is so much more superior than the other park that I go to. I, I really enjoy this park. It's the one where it's like two parks in one. And it, uh, you know, it's really nice. And then, you know, when it's good weather, a lot of people are out, just like Texas. And then bad weather, it's like you have it all to yourself. Uh, anyways, I, I love this weather. Well, I like a little, not as cold, but I like the overcast and clouds. Okay, it's starting to sprinkle. I gotta go. So, day 11.50 in the books. Uh, yeah, so it feels nice to be able to go, do my stuff, and just, just get outside, and then just getting getting some exercise. But it was, it was bad planning. This was about like a lesson in procrastinating, how it almost messed me up because I could have totally walked in the morning and if it rained all day, who cares? I would have got it done. But it's, uh, it's one of those things where if you're responsible, you gotta get things done. Thank goodness I got things done. Well, this, now I gotta go back home. Maybe eat that salad, that spinach salad stuff that I have. Well, it's a spinach, I just gotta make it into a salad. I have to do my Worldwide Wednesday, and then I have to, well, I have to uh, write. So, we'll see. Anyways, Big Daddy Shin, day 11.50. If I could get exercise 11.50 days in a row, you could exercise 11.50 days in a row. Because if I could do it, you could do it. I'm doing it. Uh... Staying out of the rain. Uh, I'll just say, I'll just say, uh, yeah, I guess so, whatever. Here comes the rain again.